Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome to an unboxing of the Loot Crate for July 2014. And as you can probably already tell, it's a different shape than usual. It's not the kind of almost cube-like rectangle, it's actually thinner but much longer. So I'm not sure what that means for the content, but the subject of this month's crate is villains. So I'm expecting maybe stuff to do with the Joker or, or some Marvel villains, I guess we'll see. My box is a little bit bashed, unfortunately, it got a bit damaged in the post, I guess, because mine comes from America, not the UK distributor. Anyway, without further ado, let's open it up and see what's inside. By the way, I'm filming in a different location in my house today because there's an ongoing 40k game going on where I usually film. So, here we go. Oh, haha! <laughs> the bit where it tells you to do the perfect unboxing has been graffitied by Harley Quinn and the Joker. Say cheese! with no one or else, ha ha ha, and then in the top right there, there is a bomb. <laughs> okay, well I guess I get what the theme is. Oh, can I turn the camera up a little bit so you can see that while I pull stuff out? There we go, that's a bit better. The light's shining a bit on the left there, but if I turn the box here, that might do. If I put it there, or there, that'll do. So we get a shirt first of all. Oh, has it got something inside it? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, what is this? It looks like it's a cross between the Joker and Loki. In fact, yes, it says Jokey in the background, so there we go. It's a crossover between the Thor universe and the Batman universe. I quite like that. Let's see if we can get a close-up there. The two characters kind of fit, I suppose. They're both, both mischievous, so there we go. And is that, as normal, the correct size? Yes, it is. Good. So there we go. That's the first thing. I always forget when I recap what's in the crate to mention the shirt, but you usually always get a shirt, so... There's the one for this month. I'll kind of try and hang it there. Nope, it's going to fall off the hanging there. Well, it's, it's over there. Don't forget that it's there. So, well, we have our commemorative badge that we always get every month. So, Loot Crate July 2014. It's probably going to reflect too much, but it's villains. It's got a picture of Deadpool, Darth Vader, Harley Quinn. Not sure who else that is on there, but it's various villains. Let's put that there. Is this Deadpool Socks? It is Deadpool Socks. I recognise those eyes anywhere. Marvel... Extreme. What size are these? Uh, shoe size 6 to 12. Also the stretch, I guess. I'm not entirely sure these would fit me. I have quite big feet. But still, if you're into Deadpool, there you go. You get some themed socks. I'm not going to open them fully this time, but they're striped at the bottom and his eyes are at the top. Alright, so there's one thing. I see the Joker's smile. I recognise that anywhere. What is this? Necessary Evil. Supervillains of DC Comics. Uh, okay, so that's the Sinestro, Catwoman, and who's that on the front? Is that supposed to be Lex Luthor? It could be. So what is this exactly? Let's uh, let's see, what does it say? Experience the icons that forced, forged fear. The Joker, Lex Luthor, Catwoman, Doomsday, and Bane. I'm going to have to turn this so I can read it. Uh, what makes them so thrillingly watchable, so terribly wonderful, so extremely vital, vital to our superheroes and their worlds? This new feature-left documentary... Alright, so it's a documentary that explores the, the necessary evil, as it says in the front there. That is actually something I'll be very interested in. And it's DC comic themed, obviously, so it's not going to have any Marvel villains, but still, yeah, okay. I actually will watch that. <laughs> uh, what is this? It's a Bowser sticker. I want you. Well, you're going to have to buy me dinner first. Oh, it's a fridge magnet. Okay, so it's a Bowser frig fridge magnet that says, I want you to join the Koopa Corp. Is that what he calls his army? He's dangerously close to other badder names if he was to add another keyword. Star Wars Keychain. Ah, it's Darth Vader themed, themed rather. I have Darth Vader's face. I can open up this one so that you can see it. And for once, I have my trusty left-handed scissors that I got from my sister for my birthday to easily open stuff like this. So there we go. Get rid of that. That is very much Darth Vader's face. That's for damn sure. So there we go. Uh, you can kind of see that in focus, right? Yeah, that's, that's fine. So there we go, that is a keychain of Darth Vader's face. As far as I'm aware, given that the theme is villains, there probably won't be any alternatives, like for any of the good guys or Chewie, etc. I wasn't implying Chewie wasn't on the good guy side, I'm just implying that perhaps his, his morals aren't exactly where they should be. Next, uh, what is this actually? Yes, I'm very curious what this is. Who is that on there? Oh, it's Batman themed. DC Comics, WB Shield. Okay, well let's open this. Oh, it's open at one end already. I guess it's a poster, I think. We have here. Oh, it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Well, that's definitely Harley Quinn as she appears in the Arkham games. And then up above, oh, we've got the Joker's smiling, lovely face. That seems like a Batman Arkham Origins theme type thing. I like that a lot. So I guess these are just like, you could snip it and then 
do them as separate posters because they are actually connected. Anything on the back? Nothing on the back. So yeah, there we go. Two posters. One of the Joker having one of his Batman acid trips and then one of Harley Quinn looking somewhat seductive in one of her Arkham City costumes. Uh, I'll put that to one side because I don't want to crease it because I actually quite like having a Joker poster. What is this? Villains issue 12. So this is just the, the Loot Crate magazine you you don't get every single time because I had one of the boxes I unopen, uh, unboxed rather didn't have one of these. What special features have we got this time? Featured looters, uh, Marvel top five, villainisms puzzle. What is a villainisms puzzle? So that's on page 12. Let's have a little look at that. Um, <laughs> Magneto is a child there. Page 12. Yeah. Oops, sorry, I hit the camera there while I'm trying to change pages quickly. Ah, match each quote to the villain who uttered the phrase. So what are some examples there? Shush, my common sense is tingling. I'm burdened with glorious purpose. Rememberings, dangerous. I find the past such a worrying, anxious place. That's the Joker, I believe. When I left you, I was but a learner. Now I'm the master. Well, that's obviously Darth Vader. Uh, the road to evil is paved with good, good intentions. That's... Is that Bane or is that Loki? I can't remember. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. Oh, well, that's probably Bane then. Tonight I Dine on Turtle Soup is obviously the Shredder. I don't kill humans out of hate, I kill them out of love. Oh, well, that could be the Joker. Hmm. Or is that Magneto? That, that sounds like Magneto to me. I'm crazy about, well, hey, I'm just crazy. Well, that's definitely the Joker then. So there was about three there I thought were Joker-esque. So clearly I'm wrong on two out of the three. And then there's a Joker's escape plan maze to fill in. Alright, so that's the magazine you usually get, and it goes over what you get, and some other stuff, pictures of other Loot Crate unboxers and so on, so we'll put that there. And last but not least, at least I think this is the last thing in here, it appears to be a fully fledged comic. Oh, also I just saw what the bottom picture of the box is, I'll show that in a second. So this is Rocket Raccoon, and he's holding a Loot Crate, and it's sealed like you would normally find a fancy comic book, and apparently it's worth $3.99 US dollars, direct edition, marvel.com. It's an issue one, variant edition. So... I guess it's just a special edition comic. I'm not sure if I want to open this thing because don't they have like extreme value? Hang on, let me just, I'll check the blurb about it in this, if it's here somewhere. Uh, I don't actually see it listed. Joking, uh, Joker t-shirt, the posters, ah, there we go. So the Rocket Raccoon comic. A small, adorable, foul-mouthed and armed to the teeth with enough firepower to take on anyone who gets in his way. Did I mention that he is a massive... He has a massive tree for a sidekick. Hmm, okay. Rocket Raccoon is making a huge name for himself thanks to the upcoming Guardians of the Galaxy movie coming out this summer. How much do you know about this gifted tactician who protects the Keystone Quadrant? Learn more about Rocket and just what makes him one of our favourite in, favorites in this awesome comic with art done by Scotty Young and, and exclusive cover work done by Dale Noe. Noen? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Ha, huh, I just realised. I would have liked some Dr. Robotnik themed stuff, or Robotnik themed stuff. Alright, so that's what you get, an exclusive comic focused on Rocket Raccoon. And also, as I was saying, look at the... Ha ha ha, best birds, girl. Oh, and ha 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 is written on the inside of the box there as well. So to recap, and this time I won't forget, we started with a Loki Joker crossover themed t-shirt. Oops, the... The Loot Crate thing, my dog barking because she has a problem. <laughs> Deadpool themed socks. The two posters, Arkham themed I guess, or well just Batman themed I suppose, of Joker and Harley Quinn. The Rocket Raccoon comic. The Darth Vader keychain thing, which I will probably happily wear on my keychain. The Loot Crate badge that you just collect every time you get one of these monthly. The Bowser fridge magnet, I want you either to join his army or, you know, just go out on a night in the town. And then the Necessary Evils Supervillains of DC Comics documentary, which is probably the thing I'm most interested in, in what came this month. So anyway, that is going to conclude this unboxing of the July 2014 Loot Crate. If you enjoyed, please do consider leaving a like or sharing it with anyone who is interested. And check out the link to the Loot Crate website in the description box below if you're interested in getting a subscription to get a monthly box of gaming and comic and geeky themed memorabilia. I'm going to go now. By the way, this is a collector's edition box. I enjoy this box a lot. I'm going to go now. Thank you very much for watching. And let me know if you're interested in seeing more in the future. My name has been Flick, and ta-ta for now.